What's up guys? We are back for another quick day of eating. Liver detox diet, basically what I figured out to do after eight years on the carnivore diet, arguably made my health even worse. So in the morning, I usually hydrate a lot and then I'll either do some glandular stuff like usually lamb or goat testicles for testosterone and most other days of the week, I'll just have a normal breakfast. Occasionally, if I'm like busy and I need to get to work, I'll just skip breakfast and just hydrate for the first few hours of the day. But I won't do the testicles more than once a week. So usually five or six days out of the week, I'm having this meal. So I showed you guys these pancakes the other week for that recipe. I've really been enjoying them as a nice source of fiber in the oats and just starch in the pancake mixed to white flour. Just uh, Iberico pork breakfast sauces that we have on Frankie's Fruity's Meat for you know, enough protein, it's maybe three or four ounces. Sometimes I'll have two, sometimes I'll have one and a half. It depends on how I feel. Supplement wise, we're just gonna take some selenium. I've been doing zinc lately. We got the Honeycrisp apple as usual for dessert. A Little bit of masticum to keep gut motility high. And we're doing water kefir, half diluted with water for breakfast. I ran out of kefir grains. I'll have to pick some up at work for the later meals. And then of course we have our organic maple syrup for the pancakes. Pretty much everything here, guys, you can get on Frankie Strange Meat, Frankie Strange Foods, if you guys want to replicate it. And uh, the main difficult thing is getting like a high quality breakfast sausage. So I'm happy I made the Iberico ones, but if I didn't have these, it, it certainly would be hard to find like a breakfast adequate high quality protein source. And uh, all the stuff, guys, organsupplements.com. We also have the beef powders back. So, you know, instead of doing the testicles and stuff and Swallowing down the raw glands, I um, might be doing the powders in the near future, but that's going to be it for breakfast. Only thing missing that we normally have is, is the water key for grains. Yeah, I'll probably do a few shorts or a video on the beef powders when we have all of them back. For the most part, we have everything like the brain powder, the male virility, a few glandulars. Only thing I'm missing is the third eye and the uh, female fertility. So if you guys are waiting on that, it might be another week or two. So if you guys missed the memo. Uh, the basis of the diet is everything organic, high quality, removing inflammation, and then just giving my liver exactly what it needs to detox efficiently, which is basically a large amount of starch and fiber with the minimal amount of protein that we need for optimal cell function. And uh, a big thing that I don't say often enough is if you're drinking probiotics and water kefir, that's high in B vitamins, and it's giving your body you know, little gut microbes to digest the carbs, that greatly reduces your necessary protein intake. So if I was having this meal without the water kefir, I would need to have two or three sausages. You know, when you guys see lunch and dinner later, you might think the protein looks a little low, but when you're drinking, you know, half a liter of water kefir every single meal, it's an incredible amount of B vitamins, and then those microbes in your stomach are creating more B vitamins from the starch. So again, you know, the actual protein and availability is much higher because of the water kefir. And we have that on Frankie's Strange Foods as well. All right, guys, we are back from work. It is 4.30. So let me show you guys my lunch, or I guess you call it an early dinner at this point. I've been keeping it simple this week, really just bread and a protein source. So this is our beef stock concentrate from Frankie's Strange Meat mixed with equal parts of my white bean puree. So it's basically a concentration of like protein, B vitamins mixed with fiber and some starch. And this is just the bulk of the starch caloric density in the meal. We have apple left over from breakfast, some masticum, of course, to wash it down. And we're doing water kefir, water kefir grains. And I dilute the water kefir with half water. Uh, so I'll do maybe half the bottle each meal, dilute it with water just some uh, kefir grains, maybe two or three tablespoons per meal, just plastic on top to keep the flies away. And uh, that's pretty much it, really simple lunch, but the uh, amount of prep that goes into, you know, making this stock and the white bean puree plus the bread, it's a lot of work. But when I do come down and have lunch, it's uh, pretty fast prep wise. So this is gonna give me basically a perfect meal uh, for liver detox and for energy and just keeping things balanced. No supplements with lunch, but past week for the most part, I was doing zinc uh, pretty much every day. But now I'm going to 
paper off the supplements for about a week, see how I feel with the exception of the Mastic gum. All right, guys, it's about 10 p.m., which is quite reasonable compared to the rest of my schedule this week. Kind of out of the norm for me, but I had like a few bad nights where I was going to bed at like 2, 3, 4 a.m. because I was so tired when I got home from work. I would take a nap at like 5 or 6 p.m. and then wake up at 10 and then have to finish the work. So we stayed awake today and we're on a reasonable schedule. Uh, let me show you guys what's for dinner. Definitely the most consistent meal that I've been having probably over a year, year and a half. I don't even know now. I got to go watch back my videos, but I'm very happy I discovered uh, these udon noodles, which are like the only noodles I can eat. Similar mixture to what we had for lunch. It's the beef collagen beef stock and white bean puree just mixed together on the sauce. So we had bread with the same concoction for lunch, and now we're having udon noodles with the same concoction for dinner. It's just an excellent minimally inflammatory base. You know, really, really basic stuff. Basically meat, beans, and starch, kind of in different forms throughout the day just for variety. We're doing the, the rest of the water kefir for dinner, diluted with some water. A little bit of masticum at the end of the meal. A few tablespoons of kefir grains and have our apple over here. And I like to let the noodles sit for about five minutes because they really absorb all of that collagen broth and the uh, white bean puree. So I'm really getting kind of complete nutrition just by having a big bowl of pasta, which is nice. So as you guys could see by like the meal plan throughout the day, we're basically giving the body the minimal ideal amount of animal nutrition that we need. Plenty of B vitamins, cholesterol, you know, any more than like a quarter to half a pound of animal protein per meal is not necessary. Uh, in the case of this day of eating today, we're definitely on the lower side of what I sometimes do. I'll be at half a pound to three quarters of a pound per meal sometimes of meat, but uh, today we're going a little lighter just to see how I feel. And for me, sometimes my digestion is better, sometimes it's not, but the point is that the bulk of the meal is starch and fiber that the body and liver can use to kind of detox and excrete things because... You know, we, we've done so many videos on liver detox now, but you basically have to consistently consume a low enough amount of nutrients and a high enough amount of starch and carbs and fiber over a very long period of time consistently to, uh, to these, I'm my brain is fried. I don't even know if I'm making sense. But the point is we're stuck doing this for a little while longer. And if you guys want to support me, you can go to frank com to check out all of my interesting businesses. Hopefully things go well in the next year or two or three and we can do our, our next book. Uh, because, you know, there, there's several people out there doing diets similar to mine, but none of them have fixed their health issues. So I'm not going to be like in the middle of this and say, okay, yeah, I'm getting better. I'm an expert. Follow my advice. Follow my advice voice it's better in my opinion let me wait another year or two three and then be healthy and then i can you know kind of write a book and put things together although most of the information i've kind of learned and figured out already there are things here and there that i'll learn every every month or two whether it's something i should be doing or a new food i can incorporate so still learning still progressing hopefully Hopefully we can get it done in about two years because any more than that, it's kind of like, it's really been, have been a long time because I've been on this diet for almost three years now, but I'll stop rambling. Guys, check frank for all of our interesting and high quality products I got. Just put some balm on my lips. Looks like I'm wearing lip gloss. Uh, but yeah, outside of that, guys, drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what videos you guys would like to see. I'm trying to not kill myself as much at work and try to get back to YouTube, but it's not happening. Uh, and be sure to subscribe and check that notification. I'll do it. My brain is so fried today. I can't. Probably the worst, probably the worst day I've had in a while. I'll see you guys soon.